Hello, welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us today. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any, at any time. If you have a question for one specific school, make sure to name that school in your question so the representative knows it is for her or him. Your cameras and microphones are off, so the can panelists cannot see or hear you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the great information coming your way over the next 45 minutes or so. This presentation is being recorded. It'll be available within about a week at the same website where you registered for this presentation. We're in session F3. You can see it on the bottom center right part of the screen that I am sharing. Those are the six schools presenting and that is the order of their presentations. So I will now step out of the way and turn it over to our presenters, the first of which our representative from Kennesaw State University. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to pull up my presentation right now for you. So my name is Samantha Klaas. I'm an admissions counselor with Kennesaw State University. I also have my colleague Adam in the chat. So some awesome things about Kennesaw State University. Um, we are one of the largest universities here in the state of Georgia. The, as of this semester, fall 2020, we have worked our way up to 41,000 students. We have over 150 degrees to choose from. We have a student to faculty ratio of 21 students per professor. So even though we have a ton of students you are not going to get lost in the mix. We are an NCAA Division I university when it comes to sports. And if you look at the bottom, we are ranked number five in the nation for our dining hall. So when it comes to picking a university, what they have to offer as a major, of course, is a really big deal. Like I said, at KSU, we have over 150 different majors to choose from. We have uh, our college of education, if you want to be a teacher, our Coles College of Business, our business and accounting degrees are internationally accredited, our College of Humanities and Social Sciences, think psychology, anthropology, and sociology, our College of Science and Mathematics, think biology and physics, our College of the Arts, that's going to be home to visual arts, music, and dance. Our dance program is the largest collegiate dance program in the state of Georgia, and our Wellstar College of Health and Human Services. So that's going to be nursing, exercise science, and human services. Our nursing program is the best in North Georgia and one of the best in the Southeast. Over at our sister campus in Marietta, we have our College of Architecture and Construction Management. Our architecture program is a five-year bachelor program that allows you to apply for licensure after you graduate. Our College of Computing and Software Engineering, that's going to be home to our video game design program. Um, College of the Arts, we have fashion, our apparel and textiles degree. College of Humanities, we have interactive design and technical communications. And Southern Polytechnic College of Engineering and Engineering Technology. We are the second largest engineering college in the state of Georgia. A lot of people don't know that. We have close to 30 different engineering labs for our students to use, and we have an annual pumpkin launch. So for my class of 2021 upcoming freshmen, I'm going to need your application, your transcript, and your test scores depending on your GPA. And what I mean by that is we are now test optional. So if you have a 2.6 academic GPA, if you know what your HOPE GPA is, it's the same exact thing. If you have a 2.6, we do not need test scores from you. If you have a 2.5 though, we will need test scores and they're gonna be right there at the bottom. They're also gonna be on our website and you can ask us in the chat. Um, our deadlines, we do offer what's called rolling admission. We take students fall, spring and summer. I don't want you to freak out about the priority deadline passing already. I just want you to focus on submitting your material sooner rather than later. So if you know you wanna to come to KSU, get that application in as soon as you can. And then if you are doing any dual enrollment credits or if you're not coming to us as a freshman, you're gonna be considered what's called a transfer student. And we need a 2.0 GPA and 30 transferable credit hours. Be sure to check out our website so you can see what classes transfer over from your previous institution. And then if you're interested in dual enrollment, we're still taking applications for the spring 2021 semester. We need a 3.0 academic GPA and you must have two units of high school English and Algebra 2 done before you start. It's free college, why wouldn't you do it? So when it comes to scholarships here in the state of Georgia, of course, we have the Hope and Zell Miller. 
Hope is going to be a 3.0 GPA requirement, and that's going to cover about 90% of your tuition at KSU. Zell Miller is going to be that 3.7 GPA and those test scores. If you want to qualify for Zell Miller, just keep in mind, you still have to test, even though we as a university are test optional. But Zell Miller is going to cover 100% of your tuition and the university scholarships that opened up this week. We like to call it an umbrella application. It's one big app. You'll put in personal essays, letters of recommendation, extracurriculars, and then whichever scholarships match up to your information, the matrix will send it out on your behalf. So that way you get to apply to multiple scholarships with just the same application. And then this right here, this is an estimate. Don't worry, it's an estimate of what financial aid says that um, the typical student will spend over the course of an academic year. An academic year is two semesters. So if you notice tuition and fees, those are gonna be in those black boxes. Those are the most solid things you'll be paying for as a college student. So if you notice the tuition, that 4,400 right there, that's really a little over $2,200 per semester. And if you qualify for Hope and Zell Miller, um, those are only going to cover your tuition, not your fees or anything else like that. And then fees are what help us maintain the university so you can have a good time here. So after you apply, be sure to follow these steps to have a smooth transition from high school graduate to college freshman, especially signing up for orientation. All students are required to sign up for orientation because the sooner you sign up for orientation, the sooner you can apply for classes and verifying your lawful presence and immunizations, you can do that online. So if you get the chance, definitely come visit us on campus. We have resumed our on-campus tours at both the Kennesaw and Marietta campus. If you don't have the time or if you wanna stay socially distanced, that's okay. Go check out our virtual tours. We totally revamped them over the summer. They're super interactive and super fun. And then be sure to follow us on social media as well. Um, we are super active on there. And then be sure to ask us any questions in the comments. And here's our contact information. Thank you very much. And I want to reiterate that you can ask questions using the Q&A button, not just for Kennesaw State, but for any of our presenters during this session. And if it is for a specific school, just make sure to name the school in your question so that particular representative knows it is for him or her. Up next, we will hear from the representative from Miles College. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me share my screen. All right, guys, my name is Tavares Hanley. Today, I will be talking to you guys about Miles College. Uh, we're a four-year HBCU loaded, located in Birmingham, Alabama and I will start my presentation. All right, the Miles College experience. So about Miles College. Miles College is a senior private STEM liberal arts, historically black college founded in 1898 with roots in the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Miles College motivates and prepares students through committed faculty to seek knowledge that leads to intellectual and civic empowerment. The Miles College education engages students in rigorous study, scholarly inquiry, and spiritual awareness, enabling graduates to become lifelong learners and responsible citizens who help shape the global society. So what does this mean? Well, Miles College is an institution uh, or HBCU that was founded in 1898 by the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. Because of that, we are a private institution, we are a STEM institution, we are a liberal arts institution, and we are an HBCU. So admissions requirements. To um, apply to Miles College, all you have to do is create a profile and apply at, uh, for admissions at uh, myexperience.miles.edu, or you can submit a hard copy to a Miles College admissions counselor in person. Applications are absolutely free, and because we uh, were founded by the CME Church, we take a holistic approach to admissions, so there's no specific GPA, ACT, or SAT requirement for admissions. Next, we ask that students submit an official high school transcript um, to myexperience.miles.edu via upload on that My Experience um, link, or you can mail us a hard copy to Mr. Christopher Robertson at P.O. Box 39800, Birmingham, Alabama 35208, or you can email your transcripts directly to our admissions office at admissions at miles.edu. Transcripts can also be sent via parchment and clearinghouse, so we do understand that some schools actually use parchment and clearinghouse to send transcripts, so we do accept those as well. Lastly, if you're a student that has taken the ACT or SAT score, I mean test, I'm sorry, um, again, we don't require them for admissions, but if you've taken the test 
it helps us um, during your registration so you don't have to take your AccuPlacer test. If you haven't taken the ACT or SAT, don't worry, we have an AccuPlacer uh, placement test that you would take as an incoming freshman. So the three scholarships we offer on campus academically are the Bridge Scholarship, which has a GPA requirement of 2.75 to a 3.1, and the total payout is $10,000, which is $2,500 per year. The Dean Scholarship, which has a GPA requirement of 3.2 GPA to a 3.6, which has a payout of $20,000, which is $5,000 per year. And the Presidential Scholarship or our Full Ride Scholarship, which has a GPA requirement of a 3.7 GPA or higher, and the payout is full tuition, room and board, which is estimated at about $74,000. Please note that academic scholarships are stackable with other uh, athletic scholarships, and there's uh, no essay required. And if a student meets the requirements for that scholarship, we're gonna go ahead and offer you that scholarship. So you don't have to apply for the scholarship. You don't have to write an essay. We're gonna go ahead and award it. So it's up to you to accept the decline. So financial aid. We ask that students complete their FAFSA or the free application for federal um, student aid at www.fafsa.gov. During the application process, students can add up to 10 schools. Please add Miles College as one of your schools using our school code 001028. Once complete, it takes about two to three business days for that application to be received by Miles College. And after that three business days, we please ask that you contact our financial aid office at 205-929-1665 or email them at finaid at miles.edu to confirm your aid uh, application was received. So major, Miles College offers um, 28 bachelor degree programs within six academic divisions. And to this list, Miles has most recently added a video game design concentration in our communications major and psychology. So we had the honor and privilege of getting um, a new video game design major and um, a psychology major on this past December. And this link right here is actually the link you can go on to see all of the majors and classes that are associated with those particular majors. So course flexibility. Miles College offers night, weekend, and online courses allowing students to make education as flexible as possible. We most recently have introduced a fully online curriculum for all of our majors and a hybrid option, which is half online, half in seat uh, for students due to the pandemic. So we do offer online classes. We offer night and weekend classes. And due to the pandemic, we offer fully online or the half and half, just in case you want that in interpersonal uh, relationship with your teachers. So tuition and cost. For a student wanting to stay on campus, tuition is estimated at about $19,254 per year. And that uh, amount is subject to change based off of what dorm you choose to stay in. If you're a student that wants to stay off campus, it's estimated at about $11,794 per year. We are a D2 organization. So we are a D2 school athletic wise. We are in the SIAC conference and we are a part of the NCAA. And the athletics we offer for men are football, basketball, baseball, cross country, golf, and cheerleading. And for the ladies, we offer basketball, track and field, volleyball, cross country, and cheerleading. And we are the reigning 2018 and 2019 basketball and football champions for the SIAC division. So student organizations, we have uh, quite a few, but some of, some of the ones on the list that we have will be the SGA, uh, the Miles College Ambassadors, Miss Miles and her court, Purple Marching Machine, which is our marching band, the College Gospel Choirs, the Free Alumni Council of the UNCL, the CME Students Association, the Divisions Club, and the Honor Society. And as far as Greek organizations, we have all divine nine organizations active on campus. We are part of the National Fan Atlantic Council, so we do have Alpha Phi Alpha, um, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Omega Psi Phi, Delta Sigma Theta, Phi Beta Sigma, Zeta Phi Beta, Sigma Gamma Rho, and uh, Iota Phi Theta. So this is our social media handle. Um, if you guys want to contact us and if you have any questions or concerns, my name is Tavares Hanley. That's my contact information in the corner. So thank you guys for having me. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And once again, any questions that you have for any of our presenters, use the Q&A button and make sure that you name the school if it is a question for a specific school. Of course, if it's a general question, no need to do that. Up next, we will hear from the representative from St. Andrews University. Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Valry, and I am going to sh share my screen and give you some information about our school. Give me a second so I can get this up. Hold on.
Shannon, we lost your camera, so I'm not sure if we're how you're doing there with your video share or your uh, screen share rather. What we will do is we will come back to St. Andrews and we're going to move ahead. So again, any questions, make sure you ask them using the Q&A button for any of our reps, but we'll come back and we'll catch up with St. Andrews near the end of the presentation. Let's skip ahead now to St. John's University. Okay, thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Alana Giacconi, um, and I'm going to talk to you today about St. John's University. Uh, St. John's University, we are located in New York City. We are 11 miles east of Manhattan. Um, we have seven total campuses, three in the New York metropolitan area, one in Queens, Staten Island, and Manhattan, New York. We also have three international campus opportunities, uh, one in Rome, Italy, Paris, France, and um, an opportunity to study in Limerick, Ireland. Um, a population of just over 17,000 students, um, average class size of 35. Um, we are um, able for students to not only just study um, and learn on a campus, but they also have the opportunity to intern and take advantage of all that New York City has to offer. Um, we are a Catholic institution. We're one of the largest Catholic institutions in the United States. Less than 50% of our students actually identify themselves as Catholic. So if you're not, I, if you don't identify that way, that is totally fine. Um, we are also one of the top 10 most diverse schools in the US. We have students from just about all the 50 states and 120 countries. Um, when you apply to the university, you're applying either to our main campus in Queens, New York, which is on our bottom uh, photo here. It's an aerial shot. The campus is about 100 acres with about 13,000 students. Um, we have over 100 different programs to choose from, and all of those programs are offered on the campus. We also have all of our Division I athletic programs on this campus as well. Um, the other campus you'll have the opportunity to apply to is our Staten Island campus which houses all of our majors with the exception of science. It's about a 15 acre campus with roughly around 1500 students. So it's a much more intimate setting. Um, and our business students have the opportunity to study at our Manhattan campus starting in their junior or senior year. So you would be able to apply to that campus with the understanding that you would begin in Queens or in Staten Island. And this is just a list of all of our majors. We break our college our school up in colleges. We have a school of liberal arts and science with things like biology, chemistry, government and politics, history, English, math, a college of pharmacy and health science with a six year direct entry pharmacy program. Um, we also have a biomedical science major, radiology, um, as well as clinical laboratory science and toxicology. We have a school of business with our more popular areas such as accounting, finance, economics, management, and marketing. Um, we also have a school of professional studies with things like sport management, criminal justice, communication arts, TV and film studies. Um, this is one of our, is the most popular college uh, at St. John's. And then we have our school of education for any of those interested in uh, becoming teachers. Um, we also offer four different undecided tracks. So if you're undecided, totally fine. We have an undecided track in with a bachelor of arts in our school of liberal arts, along with a undecided track in a bachelor of science. We have an undecided track in our Collins College of Professional Studies, and we have an undecided track in our business school. Um, our resident halls, we have on campus 10 total buildings. Um, we have an apartment style. We also have a traditional and a suite style. Um, freshmen do get to choose where they live. It's like picking a seat on an airplane. Um, we don't guarantee housing, but if you do commit to St. John's by the May 1st deadline, uh, we do reserve housing for freshmen specifically, so you will have a bed by that if you do it by that deadline. Um, and then as an upperclassman, we do have it as a lottery system, but um, our housing is pretty modernized, uh, full Wi-Fi. Um, we do not have community style living, so it does give you more um, of, a, of a modern um, living situation. 
Um, I did mention in the beginning that we have international campuses. Uh, about 40% of our students have studied abroad. Um, our students have the opportunity to study at our Rome campus or our Paris campus for at most a semester. We also have a program where you can spend five weeks in Rome, five weeks in Paris, and five weeks in Ireland. Um, we also have a freshman program to give you kind of a sneak peek at study abroad where you complete one of your classes. So if you are interested in international um, experience, St. John's definitely offers you that because any semester program that you participate in, it is the same tuition. So your scholarship and your financial aid will follow you abroad. Um, we are division one for sports. Uh, we have the privilege of calling Madison Square Garden our home court. We get to play many of our Big East uh, basketball games there. That is the most popular sport. I know I'm speaking to the state of Georgia um, where uh, football does reign supreme, um, but in New York City and in the Big East, basketball is our big sport. So um, we do offer additional sports um, that students can either participate in as athletes, or you could have the opportunity to cheer the teams on. We also have club sports and intramural sports for you to participate in also. Um, if sports is not your thing, we do have over 180 student organizations. Um, the campus is very colorful, it is very vibrant, um, and it is a community of students. So we do um, have a sense of uh, belonging when you're there. Um, we have a club for pretty much every major, for every religion that's represented at the campus. So there's definitely something for everyone to feel connected. Um, and then when you're ready for that internship experience, when you're ready to go out into the real world, um, we have a phenomenal career services department. They work with you based upon your major within your academic college. Um, these are just some of the well-known companies that students have had the privilege of interning with and landing jobs with as well. Um, because of our location, our students can intern during the semester, not just um, in the summers. And we do offer uh, various deadlines. We're fully test optional. Um, so if you have any questions about your application, you can feel free to contact me. You're also considered for scholarship. Uh, thanks so much and have a good night. Thank you very much. And we'll leave that up on the screen for a second. As I remind everyone, if you have questions, use the Q&A button to ask questions any time that you have them. And if it's for a specific institution, just make sure to include the name of the school in your question so they know it's for them. We will continue now. Again, we will come back and pick up St. Andrews later, but right now we'll continue with Sweetbriar College. Hello, everyone, and good evening. Let's just pull up my screen. My name is Taylor. I am an alumna of Sweetbriar College and also the Associate Director of Outreach here. Um, we are located in Central Virginia. We have just under 3,000 acres. We're nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, we are a women's college. We're very small. We're intentionally small and we have around 400 students total. So your av average class size has about 10 students. 99% of our students live on campus and um, some of our faculty and staff are directly on campus as well. We have opportunities for research on campus, especially for our biology and environmental science students. And we also have an equestrian center directly on campus, which I'll talk a little more about later on. Um, some new changes that we have here at Sweetbriar. We have a new academic calendar which is a 3-12-12-3 semester, which means you start your year in three weeks. You take one class every day for those three weeks. So it's really nice to get you acclimated to college and you don't have to worry about, you know, four or five classes in your first semester. And then you have your two traditional 12 week semesters and then you end the year in three weeks. And for those three weeks, you can study abroad, complete an internship, you can dig deep into a subject that you really like. We're giving you the flexibility to decide what you want to do for those three weeks. 
We have about 20 undergrad uh, majors to choose from. We have three pre-professional tracks, which is pre-med, pre-vet, and pre-law. And we do have 100% acceptance rate into med school and vet school. And that's just because your professors really get to know you one-on-one. -on -one. So they're able to give you those letters of recommendation that um, grad schools are looking for. We have a leadership core, which replaces your general education requirements. So instead of just, you know, checking off those boxes, you take 10 courses that um, over the four years that you're here at Sweetbriar, and they still are liberal arts and science based. We are one of two women's colleges that have an ABET accredited engineering program. Um, one of our recent alumni uh, graduated and uh, she's now working for NASA. Um, we do have an academic resource center where you'll see um, students call it the ARC, but it's a free tutoring service for you. We'll help you with time management skills, editing your paper, creating an outline, any um, academic help that you need is available to you. 90% of our students have jobs or they're in graduate school within six months of graduating. Um, the moment you set foot on campus, you have access to career services. Also your professors are your number one go-to. 60% um, of our students work on a research project with a faculty member and um, around 80% of our students complete at least one intern ex internship experience while they're here. We also have a $2,000 grant for engaged learning and you can apply for that grant every year and that $2,000 can fund your experiential learning. So if you need a piece of equipment for your research, you can use that money for it or if you need to uh, pay for your expenses for traveling abroad, um, you can use that money to do so. We have over 20 student run clubs. Um, so they range from academic based to interest based to socially based. Um, and they're all student run. So it's a great leadership position that you can hold while you're here. We are a division three and we're part of the ODAC conference. We have seven varsity sports, as you can see on the screen, and we also have softball and volleyball as club sports. Our riding program is very popular. About a third of our students are a part of the riding program, which is really unique because students who have never even touched a horse before can be a part of the program. We have an equine study certificate that you can pair with your major. Um, so it's really easy to you know, add that and have a barn management track or a teaching and schooling horses side. Um, we do have a winning tradition and um, you know, the opportunities are endless here at Sweetbriar. We are affordable. So essentially you're receiving a private education at a public university price. Um, this year, your tuition, room and board, um, and your fees come out to be around $36,000. And that's before any of your merit scholarships or your need-based aid. Um, we have pretty competitive merit scholarships. Um, they range up to, you know, three quarters of your tuition is covered. 99% um, of our students receive um, some sort of merit aid and need-based aid. Um, we automatically consider you for a merit scholarship when you apply to Sweetbriar. Um, we have two applications. One is on our website. The other one is the Comet app. There's no fee to apply. It's super quick and easy. We are test optional if you have above a 3.0 GPA. Uh, we require your transcript. It can be an unofficial copy and your letters of recommendation and your essay are optional. We are offering in-person tours. So head to our website um, if you wanted to do a virtual tour or an in-person tour and feel free to call me, email me, let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to help you. Hope you have a great evening. Thank you very much. And I will once again remind everyone, use the Q&A button to send a question to any of our representatives who are presenting during this session. If it's for a specific one, just make sure to name the school in the question. Up next, we will hear from the representative from Talladega College.
Good evening, everybody. All right, so my name is Quincy Nelson, and I'm an admissions counselor for Townsend College. And without further ado, we'll get started with my presentation. My email address for those, if you have any questions or concerns, my email address is qnelson at talladega.edu. And my office phone number is 256-761-6175. And to add, I am a long class of 2019 graduate of Talladega College. Talladega College is an institution rich in history whose mission is to equip its graduates for the global community through academic excellence, moral values, community service, and professional development. Now, just a bit about Talladega College. We have this year just our third year of record enrollment with our population being a little bit over 1,000. Well, actually, to be quite accurate, it's about 1,313 students with a 52% population being male and 48% of our population being female. Uh, we have a little bit over 20 majors are located in Talladega, Alabama. We are a private liberal arts institution, actually the oldest private liberal arts college located in Alabama. And with us being a liberal arts institution, we mainly focus on four different divisions. And those divisions are gonna include our division of business and administration, our division of humanities and fine arts, our division of natural sciences and math, and our division of social sciences and education, which is in fact our top division at the school right now with our criminal justice program being the being pretty much the lead major over all our majors that we offer. Then is how we do have four different divisions. Talladega is pretty much a competitive school in itself. So all the divisions, we are a big family, but it does competitive when it comes to grades because we are focused on our academics and academics come first to Talladega. We do not have any out of state fees. So if you can look on the screen, Actually, a whopping 77% of our students are from outside of the state, with just 23% of our students being from the state of Alabama. Further, we have over 20 different countries represented at Talladega College. So outside of the US, we have students from all over, all over the world, like from South America, from over in Africa, from Canada. We have students from all over the place, and it's pretty much one big family. As far as our admission requirements, we do require a minimum GPA of a two to be admitted. Due to the coronavirus, COVID-19, we are waiving all of our test scores for those just seeking general admission. And your transcript must reflect successful completion of our units of English, two units of mathematics, three units of social studies, two units of health or physical education and electives. Now, scholarships. We do offer multiple scholarships at Talladega. We offer academic scholarships and for our academic scholarships, students must meet a minimum GPA of at least a 3.0 for academic scholarship and at least a 19 and above on the ACT and at least a 980 and above on the SAT. Put you right in the area of our tornado scholarship, which at a minimum is about $4,276 per year. And if academics, if you aren't looking for a scholarship in academics, we also offer scholarships in athletics, our marching band, and our choir scholarships, as well as we have scholarships available at UNCF scholarships. Our athletic teams and student activities include our men's and women's basketball, men's and women's soccer, men's and women's track and field, men's and women's cross country, men's and women's golf, women's volleyball, women's softball, men's baseball, as well as competitive cheerleader and dance. And if sports aren't, aren't your thing, we also have a magnificent band at Talladega, known as the Great Tornado Band. We have an awesome choir, multiple intramural sports. And if you're not interested in any of it, we offer over 50 clubs and organizations. And one special thing about Talladega College if we do not have the club that you are interested in or the club that you are picking, we do give you the, the freedom to start your own club. As long as it meets and stays within the guidelines of our school, you have the freedom to do 
pretty much whatever you please and you can start an organization. Student resources include our Student Success Center, our, our Career Pathway Center, our library, and our various around the campus. Our Student Success Center is basically a student-led center that tutors everything that we offer on campus. So if you're struggling in anything, it could be your core class, your criminal justice, your sociology, all the way down to math or Spanish. We have students that tutor other students and it works. As an alum, I can tell you that I needed to use the career, I mean, I'm sorry, the Student Success Center and it worked. Our Career Pathway Center sets you up for post-graduation, whether you want to go to graduate school or you want to hop right into the career field. Our Career Pathway Center shows you how to get your resume together, how to get everything that you need so you can be prepared to go on the job and you can go be prepared for your interview. Advantages, advantages of going to a smaller school. One thing we have is a small class size. We have a student teacher ratio of 22 students to one. So that offers a much more personal environment as well as when it comes to receiving a lesson. And one thing about Talladega, you are not a statistic, you are not just another number. One big family. Like I said, Talladega is a small school, it's a small campus. Another thing about going to a smaller school, we have unique majors, stronger sense of community, greater curriculum flexibility, and like I said, you will be a person instead of a statistic. Cost of attendance of Talladega, annual tuition and fees are about $13,000. $696, annual room and board $6,655, and a dormitory fee of $200, which come out to an overall cost of $20,351. Now, for those students seeking scholarships, our scholarship deadline is, and if you, our scholarship deadline, if you meet our scholarship deadline, it does reserve you a bed and a room on our campus, just to let you guys know. And last but not least, we do not have any out-of-state fees at Talladega College. Once again, no out-of-state fees, so you do not have to worry about that. The tuition is the same all across the board. As of now, we do not have any application fees, so I do encourage you all to apply. Apply, apply, apply to not just Talladega, but all schools. We do not have any application fees, like I said again, and apply now at www.talladega.edu. Thank you all for your time. And once again, my name is Quincy Nelson. Thank you. Thank you very much. And once again, if you have any questions, use the Q&A to ask any of our representatives a question during this presentation. Now, let's circle back now and see if we can uh, hear from the representative from St. Andrews University. Hi there, and welcome to Night Nation. My name is Keith Doucette, and I will take you on a quick tour of St. Andrews University. We are located in Laurenburg, North Carolina, which is tucked into the North Carolina, South Carolina border, 25 minutes west of Interstate 95. Main Stan, Street, you, 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 uh, you minimized the video. We can't see it. We can only hear it right now. The coastal Carolina beaches and the trails of the Blue Ridge Mountains within two hours. Yes. Our beautiful lake-centered main campus spans over 200 acres. Mm -hmm. Nestled on opposite shores, you will find our academic buildings, our athletic facilities, and our eight residence halls, all connected via a scenic causewalk. Just two miles down the road, you'll find the 300-acre St. Andrews Equestrian Center. No horse, no worry. We have over 100 university-owned animals if you want to give riding a try. Our student body comes in just under a thousand students with over 35 states and 26 different countries represented. Our campus is global and can expose you to different viewpoints, languages, cultures that can strengthen you personally and professionally. St. Andrew's size makes it a great place to build true community. You will find small class sizes, personalized attention, and faculty and staff that want to know you and help you succeed. It is truly a place to be known. Now, our most popular areas of study are our business, education, and life sciences, which are all supported by our liberal arts core. Recent additions include a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, a specialization in criminal justice management through our business administration program, and a secondary education degree with grades 9 through 12 licensure. 
From help finding a job shadow opportunity to resume writing and interview role plays to those ever so important internships that provide the experience to move forward. Our career and vocational services are on hand to help you discover your purpose. We're a member of the NAIA with 27 varsity intercollegiate athletic programs. Our coaches are always looking for high character and talented student athletes to strengthen Knight Nation. New additions include women's beach volleyball, women's wrestling, and esports. To meet our coaches and discuss roster and scholarship opportunities, please visit the athletic page of our website. Now, St. Andrews boasts over 50 years of championship equine tradition. We have three intercollegiate riding teams competing in hunt seat, western, and dressage. And the Equestrian Center is about education as much as it is riding competition with academic programs offered in equine science, pre-vet, therapeutic horsemanship, and equine business management. We also offer many ways to be involved in campus life, to try new things, and to build community. So whether you like to sing, act, game, or volunteer, our clubs and organizations have something for you. Now, paying for college is a major factor in taking that next educational step. At SAU, we are committed to keeping a high quality private education affordable. Last year alone, we awarded over $10 million in various institutional scholarships to help our students discover their purpose. To learn more about all of these scholarship opportunities, to schedule a virtual or in-person tour, and to get started on your free application for admission, hit pause on this video and point your cell phone camera at these QR codes right now. We offer rolling admissions and we are currently test optional for students applying to the spring and fall semesters of 2021. So get started on your application today. We're excited to learn more about you and invite you to learn more about us. And remember, it's always a great day to be a knight. Thank you. Thank you. And if you, again, my name is Shannon Bowery. Sorry for the glitz. I've tried a new video today. So hopefully if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you very much. And I'm going to ask uh, each of our reps to come back on camera and turn on their microphones very quickly. So we have about three minutes and we can, uh, while the Q&A gets caught up from uh, the questions that are actually in the Q&A box, get a little more information about uh, each of your schools. And the, the quick question I'm just going to ask, and we'll go in round robin format here, is uh, what is your favorite school or campus tradition? And we'll start with Kennesaw State University. Hey, Samantha here from Kennesaw State. So I would definitely say our favorite tradition on campus is the pumpkin launch I was mentioning with our engineering students. It used to be just a project that they would do. These are first semester freshman students. They have no idea what they're doing. It's so fun to watch. Um, we get to watch them catapult um, pumpkins across campus. And to make it even little, a little more fun, a little more bad, um, they used to hit the dorms. So we actually had to move it, which is pretty funny. Um, but like I said, it used to be a project. It is now a community-wide event. We have almost 1,000 people attend annually. Excellent. And uh, Miles College. So one of our favorite traditions at Miles College is during freshman orientation, uh, we have our own special rendi rendition of the um, electric slide we call the bear shuffle. So we teach all the freshman students the bear shuffle on the field. Um, it's funny to watch. It's so friendly. And it's good to see the students having fun. Excellent. St. Andrews University. One of our traditions, and it's pretty funny because to see um, some of our football players in kilts, um, that one of the traditional things is they have where it's called where they actually play windpipes, bagpipes, and they cross across the causeway. So it's a traditional thing that they do every year. And it's very, it's huge in, in Lauenburg, North Carolina. Makes sense with a name like St. Andrews. St. John's. Uh, our, one of our most favorite traditions is our annual Christmas tree lighting in December. Unfortunately, this year probably won't happen, but we actually have our own fireworks show right on our great lawn. So um, the whole community comes together. A lot of our alumni come back. Um, and all of our students gather for that annual tradition each year. Awesome. This is like our own uh, Rockefeller Center. Ah. Sweetbriar College. I would say one of the favorite traditions would be uh, senior year, the senior toast and the fancy hat brunch. We all 
go to the Sweetbriar House where the president lives and just kind of celebrate your time here at Sweetbriar and, you know, have one last hoorah before you graduate. And last but not least, Talladega College. My favorite tradition is our opening convocation. Opening convocation usually takes place around around this time of year. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we are able to gather in our closed in our closed space, which is our chapel. And our opening convocation is where we was where we induct all of our freshmen into the Talladega College family, as well as the school always has a powerful motivational speaker to come by to always, you know, just instill something to the students, whether it be a notable alum or it's just or it could be a powerful motivational speaker. Like the school always delivers on this. So that's something I always look forward to, even when I was a student and now as an alum. So that's my favorite tradition. Excellent. Well, thank you all for sharing your favorite campus slash school tradition. And thank you for sharing all the information about your individual institutions during this session. And I want to thank everyone for joining us for this session. When you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at the same website where you signed up for this session tonight. Again, want to thank each of our school representatives for presenting this evening. And I will hope all of you have a great rest of your Thursday. Take care.